I study literacy. Um, one of the things that faces us in the current world is helping students to improve their reading and writing. One question would be, how many student, how many people in the world 200 years ago could not read and write? You can make a guess. And then how many students now in the current world or people are not literate, who are not able to read and write? And the answer, maybe 200 years ago, was about 15% of the population could read and write. And then now, what, is the, what are those estimates? They're exactly reversed. So one would think that literacy is high. Only 15% of the world's population cannot read and write. The problem is that reading and writing are vital, crucial to survival in our current society. In addition, what we see is that a lot of students are not proficient readers and writers. They cannot comprehend challenging text. They may understand the words, they may understand the sentences, but what many teachers remark on is they understand the words and the sentences, but they don't understand the text at a deeper level. In terms of writing, the quality of writing, Writing is extremely important to our ability or students' ability to be successful, move on to college, have careers. Yet, what we also see is that many students do not have practice in writing. Teachers are overwhelmed. They don't have time to provide feedback to, so that students get, can get enough practice in writing to improve. Okay, so I want to tell you about two technologies that we've built. One is called iStart. It's interactive strategy training for active reading and thinking. And iStart, um, one part of it is to teach students to self-explain complex text while they're reading. And we combine that with active comprehension strategies like making bridging inferences and elaborating. These are quite symbiotic because if you self-explain text and use comprehension strategies, the comprehension strategies improve the self-explanation and the self-explanation helps to externalize the comprehension strategies. We combine that with natural language processing. So we've used natural language processing to build models that will react as if it were human and provide feedback to the students. So our objective is to provide students with more practice in using comprehension strategies while they're reading. And this is viewed as complementary to the what the teachers do or what parents might do with the students and, and learning how to read and understand text at a very deep level. What teachers often remark on is that their students might understand the words and the sentence in the text, but they're not able to learn from the text at a deep level. And that's what iStart is geared to do. We've expanded iStart so it teaches other strategies like summarization, question asking, and understanding multiple documents. But the core is to help students learn strategies to help them understand text at a deep level. And then we've also built another tool like that uh, called the Writing Pal. And what the Writing Pal does is it provides strategy instruction on writing, um, on writing, how to write an, a basic essay. And then it provides games to practice the, using the strategies. And the students are also able to write essays and that the system provides automated feedback. So natural language processing is used to build these models that are able to mimic what a human would do and provide feedback. One of the reactions that we sometimes get is that these are going to replace the teacher or the models couldn't, the algorithms, the feedback couldn't possibly be good, as good as what a teacher might give. But what we're doing when we're building these educational technologies is not to replace the teacher, but to 
provide the students with more practice that a teacher can't possibly give. The teachers are overwhelmed, they don't have time. And so our objective is to be able to support the teacher and provide the teacher with um, the ability to give more feedback, particularly in writing. Teachers don't have time to give enough feedback to, to the students so they can get a sufficient practice. Another objective is to be able to provide students with access to these kinds of tools around the world where they don't have access to um, teachers who can provide the kinds of instruction on reading and comprehension and writing that they need. So we want to be able to, by building these types of educational technologies, we want to increase access and also to provide scaffolding, to provide support to teachers. And that way, by building these educational technologies, we're hoping to improve education and help to improve reading and writing and literacy across the world.